I am at Epcot and I am using the Theme Park Watch app. If you haven't heard of this app, you're going to want to get it. So let's take a quick look at the menu. Explore, area info, weather, reviews, extras, earn points, and connect. So under the Explore tab, you've got a Magic Search. Magic Search coincides with these virtual stashes. Down here you'll find a virtual stash. You'll click on the park that you're at and you can see that there are virtual stashes across the park. What you want to do is follow the directions. You're going to head over to the gift shop at the entry of Epcot's World Showcase. Find a discount on Tasha's Ross artwork. You're going to use the magic search feature when you think you found the virtual stash location. So what you'll do is when you think you've hit it, you'll come back, you'll hit magic search, and the magic search will come up. We're going to show you this later. I'm going to go on a virtual stash hunt and see what we can find. So that's one of the exciting things. The other thing is the food and drink. You can figure out what you want uh, off of your menu here by just clicking. Say I want a beer, and it's going to search the locations near me where I can get a beer. If you're looking for a snack, it's going to show you all the nearby locations of your where you're at that you can get a snack. And then park services, restroom, first aid, uh, similar to the Walt Disney World app. You're going to have uh, restaurant locations, only easier to find than scrolling through everything on the app. Info stops, uh, Walt Disney World, all the different locations, Spaceship Earth here. While at this location, use our magic search to find out more interesting information. So you're gonna click on those and they're gonna give you different information on things that you can do with the app. Um, come down here to area info, local news, what's going on, events. Uh, right now you can see we've got the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival and then scrolled in there for August 9th is the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And then there's a guide here, uh, local resources, uh, travel agencies and whatnot that you can utilize to uh, help create a better vacation for you. Uh, delivery services, transportation, so lots of great resources in there and you can see all the parks that are currently loaded in and always expanding. And then we'll click back here, um, weather, Real nice seven day forecast. You can click in that right inside that. Ooh, looks like it's gonna be a hot one later. Uh, 98 degrees today, then cooling off, and then over 100 later on this week. So prepare for the heat, people. Reviews, different reviews in here of yeah, all different food items. You can enter in your own food reviews, submit them. And then you've got some extras in here, different deals. Um, click in these deals from different sponsors of the uh, the app a checklist here um, looks like that needs to be a one of the paid membership items so we can go into that later and then on us check this out so a gift from the creator of the app you can go in here and you can put in an item food or drink in your location and it says uh, while in the parks have a food and drink on us Fill out the form below and see if you are chosen for a complimentary snack or uh, beverage uh, from Theme Park Watch. So they will venue the amount of money of whatever the item is that you're looking for. So uh, that's really cool. And then points. So you can earn points. So you got park challenges. Um, figure out some of these challenges is uh, clicking on this coin. So when you show up, you can click on this. This is easy here. Just go to theme park check-in. I've already done that this morning. So then you earn points. So you can see I got one point. Um, and then you can see where I'm at. Uh, nine points, I get bumped up to a gold member. So you can utilize the points to um, boost your status in the app. And then you can see a $25 gift card when you reach gold. And you can do that for Disney or Amazon. So that's really cool for those of you uh, Disney gift cards for your next trip because you can do uh, at home as well and earn points so periodically here under the at home app if you are a paid subscriber uh, I believe it's a dollar ninety nine a month for the subscription to get you into this um, which I'm gonna have to set up and then you can kind of watch your rankings here and see where you're at rankings wise um, so I'm gonna work on getting some points while I'm here today 
connect here you can join you can add a listing here say I want to do meet up with some people in the park for a drink I could add that here and then people could see where I'm at in the park and they could join me for a drink um, chit chat you can it's kind of like just a text messaging back and forth and then uh, theme park watch live there's some live content that the creator puts up here so basically that's the app download it I'll show you uh, on my page where to download it later uh, and I'm gonna show you here later on how it's used something to note also when you click on these info stops and you go to the proper part this one says spaceship earth so I am near spaceship earth and it's telling me to use the magic search feature while I'm near spaceship earth I'm gonna go back into magic search and you're gonna see another menu that's going to pop up here so my current location spaceship earth there is no virtual stashes in this location uh, virtual hints are for uh, upgraded members there's a fun fact here that talks a little bit about Spaceship Earth some recommendations check out project tomorrow when you exit Spaceship Earth and a little bit of trivia how many triangles make up the Spaceship Earth sphere 11,520 wow who knew if you knew let me know all right, so the first thing I'm going to do inside the app is check the magic search. And this is going to tell me if I'm in proximity of one of the virtual stashes. And it says that I am not. So I'm going to back back out. I'm going to check the virtual stashes. Walt Disney World. And you can see that uh, there's a artwork and there's a pirate print that's both inside of Epcot. So, but the artwork is zero miles. So it's saying I'm on top of it. I'm going to go into the magic search and I'm going to hit the magic search and see what happens. No magic here. So it has to be inside of Disney Traders or Port of Entry. So we'll go back to the virtual stash. We'll check it out again. And it says head over to the gift shops. That is the entry to Epcot's World Showcase to find a discount on Tasha Roth's artwork. Use the magic search when you think you're at the virtual stash location. So let's get a little bit closer to Disney Traders. We'll see how, how much accuracy we have to have um, to get these. So now we'll go back under magic search. See I'm walking in the door nothing, so let's try it again. Now I'm inside. Now, check it again. Make sure that it didn't reset, push me further away. So I'll try it again. <laughs> Nothing here. So let's go over to Port of Entry and we'll try that one. So let's try it again. Let's hit that magic search button. There it is. So it says there, congratulations, you found a discount on Tasha Roth artwork. $100 off an original or 40% off a print. Just be the first to answer this question. How many pavilions are there in Epcot? So then you're going to enter your answer and enter your email address and you will submit that in and then you'll get that discount. So I'm going to leave that for someone else. That's not something that I want. I'm not going to purchase uh, her artwork today. Uh, maybe sometime in the future if I see something that I like I will uh, do this again so I can get that discount let's head on over to the contemporary and we'll find out what the virtual stash is there So I figured out the encryption from the contemporary and what that stop does is tells you where you need to go to find the virtual stash. So the encryption can be decoded 
and the hint that you will get on how to decode it is given to you if you are a one of the paid subscribers I believe it's like a dollar 99 a month or something like that which as this app grows and more and more stashes take place this is going to be very well worth it so definitely want to check that out and see so we're going to head over to the next location and we'll see what we find. Now that I've decoded it, it has taken me to the Grand Floridian. So I am at the Grand Floridian and we are going to jump on the app here and we're gonna see what it says for info stops, Walt Disney World, Grand Floridian. And this is gonna to say to go to the magic search feature. So now we will go into the magic search it's going to detect that we're in the Grand Floridian and we should get that pop-up menu. There it is. So now you've got the virtual stash and it says, yay, you found the handbag. Now just be the first to take a selfie with a Grand Floridian sign. Enter the password from the first stash location and then enter your email. So now you can see there's multiple steps as the prize gets bigger. We were looking at discount codes earlier. As this app progresses and more people start using the app, you're going to see a lot more stashes get on there. The owner has expressed that at some point he'd love to see something like some stashes where there's a thousand people trying to decipher codes and figure out how to win $10,000. So that's how big this is projected to want to go. Uh, obviously, it's going to take a bunch of sponsors. Uh, other companies to get involved to donate prizes for this if you want to make a virtual stash get involved make a virtual stash I'm looking at figuring out how I can make one also trying to figure out how I can help assist to add other theme parks that I'm going to into the mix to give not only the app more but you as the users of the app more places to use the app at so download the app log in check it out if you like it, find it useful, and you want to participate in some of these bigger stashes where you can get the hints, then sign up for the uh, monthly membership so you can use that. And we'll go from there. We'll see how this goes. Let me know in the comments what you think of the app, things that uh, you think that he, he could do to make it better or increase user compatibility. I've looked through it. I'm going to add some more reviews to it. I've already put a bunch on there. If you guys have got some food reviews, some food photos, things of that, that nature, throw them on there and let's get this app built up. I'm going to head on over to have some fun. area now. There is a virtual stash over there. All right, there it is. Found the backside of water t-shirt. So, see how this works. You're gonna enter in a selfie. You should have been with us when I said Let's Just go, boys. take a selfie at the location, enter your t-shirt size, and then mail it. So, when you are on the backside of water, you will need to take a selfie. You will enter your t-shirt size and your email address and then you will be contacted. So that's how that one works. I am not on the Jungle Cruise, so I am not at the backside of water. I just wanted to come close by so I could show you how it worked. So when you use the app and come to the park, you can utilize it properly and submit to win the prizes.